welcome back and welcome to Mermaid. So I'm going to participate in this challenge for the first time and you might be wondering what is Mermaid? So as the name implies, Mermaid is a challenge occurring during the month of May for artists who like to draw and practice their skills, but the challenge makes you draw mermaids. It was first created by Tom Bancroft on Instagram and now most artists take it as a chance to practice their skills and creativity. I'm not going to do a mermaid per day since I take a lot of sweet time to, to come up with an idea but I'm going to do as much as my creativity wants to. And let me tell you, this was not a good example. So I came up with the first sketches and I really liked the concept. So I start by line arting the design. So the idea and concept behind this mermaid was kind of to contradict most mermaids out there. You know how usually drawings of mermaids they kind of look perfect. Well, this is debatable, but they all have this full flowing hair and yeah, the stereotypical innocent girl like, I don't know. But I wanted to do a rebel mermaid. Yeah. She also has flowy hair, but I cut it one side of it and added some tattoos because I really wanted to experiment with watercolor line heart instead of marker line heart. And like I said, this was not a good example because I did not plan coloring yet. This beast called coloring. I failed so much in here. I had one idea for coloring in my mind, but in paper did not turn out as I at first imagined it. The main reason for it? I rushed into painting right away. Also, I wanted to test and paint with warm colors. I prefer painting with cold colors and I really wanted to practice with warm ones, but I did not plan it and the result was kind of a mess. I did manage to save it, but it didn't turn out as I wanted to. You can see here that I tried to correct the, the coloring by adding some darker tones and some brown on the orange tail, but I guess it was already too late. So you can say that this mermaid was kind of my science experiment. <laughs> I wanted to test warm colors, I wanted to test watercolor line heart on the tattoos, and it did not turn out good. I darkened the tail so much that I could not do any line art for the tattoos on her tail. So later I had to draw the tattoos with marker line art. Yeah. I was stressing so much about how the coloring was looking that I rushed the project. That's not something you should do, but I really wanted to get this over with because I failed so much. But hey, on the positive side, I learned better from mistakes like this than for mistakes doing on the initial concept. So don't do like I did, 
if you are feeling unconfident with your colors, practice on a piece of paper, with some pencils, anything really, just so you know how the colors will work together. Oh well, you can see here I did the line art with a marker. Not my initial idea, but the tones were so dark already, I couldn't do much. So the only part of this drawing I did practice on the watercolor line heart were these flowers. And it's something I really want to start making on future drawings, but I'm not confident enough yet. I want to leave the markers behind and start using only watercolors. It's something I really don't like about my drawings right now, it's how I do the line art. They make the drawing look so rough and so, so strong. I really wanted the drawing to look more delicate. So I really need to practice this line art technique. But by doing this, I really also need to practice my sketching because I can't draw only a line for, from sketching. If I'm doing a line, you can see three or four more lines on the side. <laughs> That's how I sketch. So I managed to save this drawing somewhat. It was not the initial idea I had in mind, but could be worse. And it was a good experience for my first mermaid. I probably won't mind selling this as an original in the future. I'm going to open an Etsy store in the future, so stay tuned for news about that. If you want some prints or some originals. And that's my first mermaid for the mermaid challenge. I hope you guys enjoy and have a nice week. Bye!